Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, my friends, this is the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast, and I am your host, Rev Clues, and welcome to podcast number 1515, and I hope everybody's doing fantastic out there. Before I want to do anything else, I am working on a theme for the podcast. Hopefully, by the next podcast, the theme will be done. I've been noodling away on guitar and bass and drum machine and uh, putting something together. Hopefully that uh, that all you find people will like. So stay tuned for the next podcast. It should be done. And uh, you can email me, hate mail me <laughs> if you don't like it. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll accept everything, you know, and I'll, I'll take it under advisement as, 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 as the saying goes. So uh, I hope you like that. So what are we going to do here today? I didn't do a lot of vinyl buying, uh, or I should say road trip vinyl buying this past summer. I was extremely busy with other endeavors, as as they say, and uh, didn't go as much as I wanted to. But I did manage to pick these two 45s I'm going to play for you for this podcast up, I believe, at the end of July. Just is some really, really good vintage Edmonton stuff from the 60s, and I'm so happy that I picked these things up. First one I want to play for you is from 1960 from the Quality Record label, and it's by Wes Dacus and the Club 93 Rebels. Everybody knows who Wes Dacus is in the Edmonton music scene, a legend, a monument in the Edmonton music scene as a songwriter, a singer, a guitar player, uh, producer, uh, studio owner. Uh, he's had his fingers in basically everything in the last, you know, 40 years, 50 years of the Edmonton uh, music scene, and uh, just a brilliant guy. Uh, we lost him much too soon, and uh, just I can't say enough about this record. I love surf music. One of the things that I love to listen to is surf music, specifically vintage surf music from the late 50s of vintage Western Canadian, I guess, surf music from 1960. This is a song called Taboo that I'm going to play for you first, and it's got a great killer guitar line, nice pounding beat. Uh, you, you can't ask for a better surf song from 1960, and I, I love this. It's not unlike uh, the Chante's Pipeline along the same line, same kind of feel to it. So if you like the Chante's Pipeline, you'll love this song. A side is called Taboo. The B side is called Re- Let's see. Ah, it's called Remind Me, which is a little bit slower. I can see Wes and the band playing this later on during the dances on Friday and Saturday night to get a little bit of a slow dancing thing going on among the, the, the teenage couples that were you know out on the dance floor. And uh, just as good, but I, I love the A-side for this. So without further ado, this is Wes Dacus and the Club 93 Rebels with a song called Taboo. From 1960 here on the Vintage Ebbeton Music Podcast.
Welcome back to the Vintage Everton Music Podcast. That was the legendary Wes Dacus and the Club 93 Rebels with a song called Remind Me. And right before that was the A-side of that 45 from 1960 off the quality record label, the classic slice of Canadian surf music, a song called Taboo. Love, 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 love that guitar line. Now, the next one I want to play for you again is another 45 that I found on the same trip from the same store. And again, a, a, a great uh, classic Edmonton group from the 1960s. This is, of course, Willie and the Walkers from the Capitol Record label. I believe this came out in late 1967. Became a huge hit in Canada. Hit number one in January or February of 1968. I think it was actually January of 1968. They were a very theatrical rock band. Uh, very I, I, flamboyant, I guess, is it's close to to a good term that I can come up with. But uh, yeah, very, very theatrical, great sounding band, uh, great vocalist and Willie McCalder and great uh, organist also. He has a great organ lick off this song that I'm going to play for you. And the A side that I'm going to play for you is a song called Alone in My Room. Love the organ lick that starts this whole thing up. Everybody knows it. It's, it's a classic uh, horror movie kind of uh, organ lick. And the song is great. Hit number one. Uh, has a lot of kind of a I I won't say monster monster mash kind of vibe to it. It's good. It's it's again very very theatrical. Great song. So without a further ado, from late 1967, this is William. Oh, and I want to mention produced by Norman Petty, who uh, again is a rock and roll god. He. I guess uh, earned his stripes or became hugely, hugely famous and immortal uh, recording Buddy Holly and the Crickets. So uh, Willie and the Walkers went down to New Mexico to Norman Petty's recording studio, did some recording, and boom, this is what came out of it. So this, again, uh, huge, huge song. This is Willie and the Walkers from late 1967 with the number one hit, a song called Alone in My Room here on the Vintage Up to Music Podcast. In my room, way at the end of the hall, 
icing and stare at the wall. Each day is just like the last. For I live in the past. In my room, where every night is the same, I play a dangerous game. I keep pretending she's late, and I sit and I wait. Welcome back to the Vintage Edmonton Music Podcast. That was Willie and the Walkers from late 1967 with a song called Poor Janie. And right before that was the A-side. That was a number one hit in January of 1968. A song called Alone in My Room off the Capitol Records label. Produced, re-engineered, and recorded by Norman Petty, the legendary Norman Petty, who uh, recorded Buddy Holly and the Crickets, discovered them in, in Clovis, New Mexico. I... I if I'm not mistaken, William the Walkers went down to Clovis to record this uh, 45. Anybody out there has the information, uh, lay it on me. And, and yeah, I, I, I want to talk about this also. I got an email a couple of weeks ago from Richard Bell, who is the curator and the owner of Edmonton 60s Band, which is a comprehensive website 
dealing with uh, bands from the 1960s in Edmonton. Great webs, uh, great photos, great information, uh, great history of the bands. He was gracious enough to email me a couple of weeks ago and filled in a lot of holes in Edmonton history regarding uh, artists that I played on previous podcasts. And I'm going to update those specific posts on the previous... Boy, that's hard to say. I'm going to update the specific posts on previous podcasts with the information that Richard gave me. Richard, thank you so, so much for doing this. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, Richard's a big fan of the of the podcast. And, and again, thank you so much, Richard. I really, really appreciate this. And hopefully I will be getting more emails uh, upcoming from Richard talking about more artists and more Edmonton history. So uh, check out that. So that's it, folks. That's the end of the podcast. And again, I would be remiss if I didn't mention, yes, by gum, I am on iTunes and you can subscribe to me on iTunes. Yes, by gum, I'm on TuneIn and you can subscribe to me on TuneIn. And yes, by gum, I'm on Podomatic and you can subscribe to me on Podomatic. And I'm, I'm just about there. I'm not quite there. I'm almost there. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I will have a Google Play app coming up. Very, 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 very soon. I give you my word on that. So uh, check all that out. You can find me at a number of different platforms. I also have Vintage Edmonton, which is the uh, history of Edmonton, Alberta, through different mediums, uh, articles, ads, film, audio, uh, ephemera, which is uh, vintageedmonton.com, one word, vintageedmonton.com. And I also have a new website called News Obscure. And uh, shockingly enough, it's obscure news from the past. Uh, Check that out. It's newsobscure.com. Just started uh, a couple of months ago. Still getting its footing, so I hope everybody enjoys that. I think that's about it. So until next time, with a uh, with an actual theme at the beginning of the the podcast, I give you my word again. <laughs> I give you my word that this is gonna happen. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.